Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, whatever we have covered in the previous tutorial, I gave you kind of an overview by walking you over to the lightning UI that was there in Salesforce. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you a pictorial representation of what we have covered in the previous tutorial. So as I mentioned to you, Salesforce comes up with a different set of applications, a standard list of application that Salesforce comes up with is let's say we have a sales application, then we have a marketing application, and then you also saw there was something called a service application, and there are a lot more application that Salesforce provides to you. Now under each of this application, you have different list of tabs, right? So the sales application consists of following tabs. We have a accounts tab there, then we have is contact, then we have called as opportunity. Tab is nothing but is an object underneath. An object is basically like a table, okay? And uh, so we can say that sales application is made up of bunch of these tables, account table, contact table, opportunity table, etc. Similarly, service application can also be made up of similar set of tabs or can also have some different list of tabs as well. So under the service application, you have tabs like uh, cases. There is a tab like accounts under the service application. So basically service application is made up of case object, account object, etc. Now these are the applications that we have, which is nothing but combination of different tabs. Now the access of this application is given through profile. Okay. So which act which profiles have what kind of access that's what the profile will do profile will control the visibility of the application so through profile we will tell that okay system admin profile has access to sales application system admin does not have access to marketing application so profile will control the visibility of the application now the profiles are basically assigned to the user. So user one can have a profile one, user two can also have a profile one. So there can be two users sharing the same profile, but at one point in time, only one user can have a one profile, cannot have more than one profile. So a user A can only have either be a system admin profile or you can change it to another profile, but at one point in time, one user will only have one profile at a time. It's a very, very important thing. So what did I just said is one user can only have one profile at a time. Okay. But one profile can be given to multiple users. Okay. Let's say the user we have is Akshay. Then there is another user called Sanjay and there is another user called Madhuri. All of them can share the same profile, but at one point in time, Akshay will only have a profile of system admin. If you want to give him another profile, you basically have to take away this profile and give him the new profile. So one user can only have one profile at a time, but one profile can be given to multiple users. Now let me go ahead and give you an overview of what profile basically does. So as I mentioned, profile controls the visibility of the applications and it also controls a lot more things. But just to give you a quick overview of what profile does is let's go back to our Salesforce account. So I'm going to go back here and uh, if you go here, you have seen that this is my user. So I'll go to the setup. Okay. And then here I will go under the users and over the users, you will see that Kanna Deepika has a profile of system admin. So if I click on this edit next to the user, you will can see that this profile is the associate. This is the profile that has been given to Deepika Kanna. Now currently I'm logged in. Right, so the Pika Khanna is the one who is logged in, and currently the Pika Khanna has access to all these applications. Right, it has access to service application, access to sales application, etc. Now, 
how can I control what application Deepika has access to? So that is controlled via the profile. So if I want to take away the access of service application and sales application from Deepika, how will I do that? I will go to the system administrator profile. So you can go and click on the system administrator and click on edit next to the system administrator profile. And this is the place where it tells you what all application this user can see. So you can see here, if I go ahead and take away the access of some of these applications from the system admin profile, since system admin is my profile, I won't have access to these applications because what will I see will depend on what profile I have. So if I go over here and let's say I take away the access of this one, I take away the access of this, I take away this access, I will take away the marketing access and uh, let's say I take away the sales console access and uh, uh, standard service, all this access I'm taking away. Okay, once you have taken away all the access, I'm going to go ahead and hit the save button. So I've taken away the access and now since system admin is me, I'm the system admin, there can be another user with the same profile. Okay, as I mentioned, one user can only have one profile at a time but one profile can be given to multiple users. So I'm the system admin. Now if I go here, you will see I don't have, if I refresh my page just to make sure, you will not have the similar access you had earlier. So if you go and click on view all, you have seen all the access that we had earlier has been taken away. We did not do anything. All we did was we went to the system admin profile and we basically took away the access of all the applications that were visible to me. So if I want to give back the access, what will I do? I will come back to the system admin profile and I'm going to give back all of this access that I took away from this applications and I will give back this access again under this system admin and make sure to hit the save button. Once you hit the save button, now you will see you have a lot more access. You basically pretty much got the same access that you had earlier. Now, this is one thing that you can control with the profile is basically what application a user can see. You can also control what objects the user can see, what fields, things of that nature. But once we go more deeper into some of the topics, that's when we'll learn more about profile. But just to recap, this is how the architecture of Salesforce looks like. So we talked about the different list of application that Salesforce has. Then all those applications are made up of bunch of the tabs. Tabs are nothing but underneath it's an object or you can even say it as a table. And the access to the application is controlled via the profile. And those profile are being assigned to the user. So one profile can be given to more than one user, but one user will only have one profile at a time. So this is a quick overview or a recap of how you can arrange things inside of Salesforce. So when you navigate into Salesforce, you will go over to the app launcher and let's say you clicked on the sales app. And then once you click on the sales app, you will see all these different tabs. But underneath these tabs are nothing but the object. An object basically is like a table. Okay, and we'll dig deeper into objects in the upcoming tutorials. So you can see here lead is nothing but it's a table. And these are the records that are there inside of this leads table. But in Salesforce, we don't call them as table. We call them as objects. This is a quick recap of the different pieces that are available inside of Salesforce. We did a quick overview of a profile. We learned about applications, the different tabs, etc. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.